Blunderland on the road that leads to accidents. Where is Blunderland exactly? Not just in this particular street, but any place where the public is careless of its own safety. Incredible, isn't it? Yes, that's you, jaywalking, but you've got plenty of company. You never thought you behaved like that. Walking against the traffic, meeting your fate head on. We missed you this time, but somebody will get you yet. It would take a traffic officer every yard along every street of every town in this state to protect pedestrians against their own foolhardiness. Even way back in 1908, busy shoppers took the same risks, and there are tombstones everywhere to prove it. My, isn't it quiet? Of course, there were no talkies then. The flighty flappers could hustle their bustles across George Street as the hansoms whizzed by at 10 miles an hour. Look at those fashions. One looks plenty. Motorists, take a peek at that parking space. Careful, Grandpa, get back. So now that we've seen Blunderland old and new, here's Alice preparing with real feminine intuition to get to that pet of a hat in the window over the road. Alice is no fool. She looks for traffic the wrong way. She'd give that driver a piece of her mind if she had any. But she's a driver herself with good understandings. See what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. But this is no time for traffic responsibilities. Let's try on that ducky little hat. Hmm, not bad. A bit more over your right eye, you can still see out of it. Silly old rules like putting out a hand when leaving the curb don't mean a thing. The other fellow's in the wrong, he always is. Heaven help the policeman on a site like this. Don't get the impression that all women drivers are in the same boat. Alice is simply in a hurry, that's all. The law guards the yellow line with his life. If he only knew it, as Alice drives on the only part of the road she can see through her head. Well, she's not far over the line anyway. A little faster and she might have gone like that other Alice right through the looking glass or through the windscreen. But I didn't see you, Constable. Really, I didn't. No wonder. With a hat like that. See what I mean? Wouldn't it? Well, believe it or not, Alice finally got out of town all in one piece to find her boyfriend still waiting patiently. <laughs> You've met Alice, now this is the mad no-hatter. Nice place to wait, son. One-way traffic? Pooh, what of it? She's in a hurry. A few feet from the curb? That's near enough. But that mad hatter's not so mad after all. He's gonna drive himself. Women drivers? Sir, sure, I'll show them. Don't look now, but I think we've got company. Well, let's get out of here into the wide open spaces. It got me nervous now. Oh boy, we were on the spot. Ah, there's nothing like the countryside, the lovely rolling farmlands, the beautiful animals. Time to take in all the scenic beauties, both inside and outside the car. A perfect one-armed driver. He's probably a one-legged driver now. But what was that old Australian proverb, mugs for luck? They're both still all in one piece. The ambulance could almost go out and pick up the victims by itself without the attendance because it had so much experience. Most of its time is spent in picking up the victims of negligent driving, a negligence that is criminal in itself. Don't 
bet the man had to fool you. There's nothing comic in motor smashes, so maybe he needs a further lesson, and in a moment or two, he'll get it. So let's shut up shop and take them in their coma through the looking glass to school. Actually, road safety instruction does begin in the schools of this state. But there are times when we feel that adults could have the same lesson. Times when the elementary road signs could be stressed, such as a triangle for a specific warning of a most serious obstacle ahead. Obstacles like the railway crossing, which can easily lead to a cross of another kind. and the road curve to be approached with caution and lessened speed. And now, my boy, the order curve is... I got a fair idea. But as Alice and the Mad Hatter return to grim reality, you who know how to drive suffer fools gladly. Talking of casualties, remember Australia's war service total of killed and wounded, 95,000. Toll of the road for the same period, 115,000. Driving errors all contribute to the toll of human wastage greater than war. Lack of observation and road consideration result obliteration. Thoughtless drivers and pedestrians are a deadly menace. Alice in Blunderland. Next stop, Down Underland.